What's going on there, Bites? Blue, Blue's Collectibles coming back at you with another video, and today is our uh, SGC uh, blind reveal, submission order number three. I'm very excited to open this one up. Um, you know, hoping for some good grades on these. I don't know what I've got on any of these grades here at all, so I'm uh, going to do another blind reveal for the SGC. Um, but first and foremost here, you can uh, follow us at Blue's Collectibles, at Blue's Collectibles on Instagram and Facebook, and you can follow me personally. On, Tra on Twitter at Travis Terry too, if you want to there. Um, I post cards on there from time to time as well. But mainly, I, my, my, uh, a lot of my content is on the Instagram page at Blues Collectibles. So I've already kind of pre-opened the box of, for video purposes here, so it'll make it a little bit easier when we do uh, do the blind reveal. <clears throat> so uh, we're going to go ahead and get, get started and jump into this one. I think I had maybe, maybe six or seven cards in this order. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to just pull it out and look here, honestly. All right, what we got here, folks? And this is the first time I've got an SCC order in an actual box like this, like a bigger box like this. So, okay, empty box, as you see, just some paper there. And finally, what we got here, tuxedo time. <laughs> so we'll take a look at that there. Um, give a nice little thumbnail for the uh, 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 for the YouTube video there. So that, that's going to be, uh, we've got a nice little sticker on there, at least tuxedo time. Again, guys, I don't really know about these grades, to be quite honest. They may be good. They may be bad. You know, I've not had very good experiences with SGCs thus far. I think I've got 110 out of uh, about at least over 20 cards submitted. So, uh, you know, who knows what we'll get. We'll see. But uh, i trying to open this here. So, there we go. It's not bad. Tuxedo time. So, we are. Okay, this is to be the back here. Uh, okay, yeah, this is the back. Okay, yeah, so let's see the Mitchell Robson on the back, so we'll see an empty box as usual. That's kind of cool, the little tuxedo there, if you guys have seen that before, so. Again, guys, um, like like this video if you want. Um, subscribe to the channel if this is just coming up on your uh, feed. Uh, we'll be doing a lot of this here um, in the near future, not necessarily um, SGC, but we'll be doing a lot of uh, PSA blind reveals and things of that nature here, so I'm going to go ahead and get some paperwork off here, and, oh, okay, well, I guess okay yeah so i guess i'll okay, okay i guess this one's a little bit too large for an sgc holder which is fine I'm, i may submit that one to psa anyway that was my uh pj washington um sparks memorabilia memorabilia tie-dye prism 18 out of 25 if you guys see that i wanted to get that one slabbed up there but uh, is what it is i guess it was just too large uh, but I, i've got a mitchell here i thought was about the same size but again it is where it is we'll uh We'll just some, uh, uh, hopefully send that one into PSA because I really want that one slabbed up. I'm really not concerned about the grade at all on this one. I just like it where it's a UK player, and I uh, just want to get it slabbed up. I love that uh, sparkle on there. That's really cool. So, um, <laughs> Good sign so far, if you can hear the uh, sarcasm in my voice. Invoice order there. My name, real name, Travis Terry, for you. All right, folks, let's jump into this blind reveal. You know, who knows how to be? Maybe good, maybe bad. <laughs> I don't know at this point with SGC, so <laughs> anyway. All right, first and foremost here, we've got a Mitchell Robinson, and this one is a Obsidian. I may be wrong on that. I'm pretty sure this one's the Obsidian. Okay, yeah, Obsidian Basketball, yeah, if you guys can see that. And this one's 33 out of 75. It's a rookie card here, a rookie auto. So let's see what we got, and I'll turn it up this way here and kind of make it a little bit interesting here so we can... Uh, see the grade and we got a 10 on the auto and a 9.5 okay and that looks really good in that slab guys that looks really good and i'm and the auto got a 10 so that's cool 9.5 not bad that looks really cool in that slab though because see what i'm saying guys if you guys can see that this card is one of the thicker ones it's hard to tell but it's pretty thick and i kind of thought the pj washington was that same uh, size so not too bad, 9.5. I mean, can't complain there, and that just looks really good. That pops in that SEC slab, I'm not going to lie. All right, folks, next we got a Stadium Club, and this one's a Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie card. I'll try to make it a little interesting here, and this one's sideways. So, And we got a 9. The fine nines, Fernando Tatis Jr. Looks good, though, in the slab. Really, I, the photo... Um, the photos they get used in Stadium Club is second to none. So I really love the photos in this. Wish it would have got a 10, obviously, but 9 will take that. I'll probably put that up on the uh, eBay store. Uh, so if you guys are interested in that one there, uh, be sure to uh, 
go see my uh, eBay channel. And I, and I sell cards on Instagram as well, too, if you don't want to go through the Instagram or through the eBay process. I do sell cards through um, Instagram as well. So, All right, another one here. we got a same card here, and I'll try to uh, not spoil the grade here as we turn it around. Okay, so it's another same one, same card, and this one got a 9.5. Okay, so we got a decimal ahead, so not bad. 9.5. May actually hold on to this one here, um, just depending on. I've got one more actually here, just depending on what that one gets. So nine five, can't complain. I'm actually do a nine five pile and a nine and a nine pile. So the nine fives over here and the nines over here, <laughs> which we may have some eight fives or seven fives or six fives or <laughs> hopefully a ten, but I honestly doubt it. <laughs> so anyway, another Fernando Tatis Jr. here, and I'm trying to hide the grade where it's not. Can't, okay, so you can't see it here. And folks, comment down below if you're watching it live. What do you think this one will get? Hopefully it's good. And it is a nine. Mint nine. So a nine, uh, two nines and one nine five. Not too shabby. Again, probably will throw this one up on eBay as well. Probably will hold on to the nine five because it's a little bit closer to 10, obviously. But I will try to, I may try to throw those up on my Instagram and eBay. And we've got another uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie card. And this one's out of the Topps um, Fire. I'm about 90% sure. Uh, I may be wrong on this one here and try to hide the grade. Okay. Yeah. So we, we got pretty much it here. So um, 2019 Topps Fire Fernando Tatis Jr. Good looking card. Looks good in the slab. And this one got a 9.5. Okay. 9.5, not bad. You know, was, again, I was hoping for a 10 on one of these Tatises, but. I guess the closest thing to 10 is a 9.5, so looks good in that slab, though. I ain't going to lie, that looks really good. All right, folks, our last card here. Uh, Keith Lee, the autograph of Keith Lee. And this one's just going to be for my personal collection. Don't plan on selling this one at all. Hopefully it does get a 10. Uh, try to hide the grade. Okay, good. So we got a – here we go. Keith, take, check, check that card out, guys. 2020 Tops Keith Lee – or Tops NXT – Keith Lee autograph, 23 of 25. And this one got a 10 on the auto. Did we get a 10 10? Did we get a 10 10? Oh no. 8 5. Oh, damn, man. 8 5. Hmm. Wow, 8 5. I wonder what. Ah, man, that. God, that blows. That blows. Hmm. 8 5. Wow. Hmm. Not sure why, but. I'm not seeing any white on the corners or anything of that nature, but mm, man, nine five or eight five rather. Mm, that's that's my SEC experience thus far is just a shake my head. <laughs> but it is what it is, though. Keeping this one for the personal collection anyway. Keith Lee's one of my favorite wrestlers currently right now, so didn't plan on selling this one anyway. But the ten, I mean, the uh, auto got a ten, so that's worth something, I guess. Anyway, but and we'll keep the eight five five pile here. <laughs> Um, so again, guys, that's the blind SGC reveal. Again, got my first one here was the PGA or PGA PG PJ Washington uh, memorabilia card, which was too large for their holders. So I'll try to maybe submit that one to PSA for the next order there. But overall, um, SGC, I don't know if I'll be using them a whole lot anymore. Honestly, just the way I mean, the way my grades have come back here, it's not been the best ever. But what with a lot of times though, guys, with this SGC orders that I do. A lot of these are from my personal collection. I, I do, I will sell some of them from time to time, but a lot of these I'm just sending in just for the fact of I'm getting them slabbed up. Like, like I had these cards here, these nine fives. I just had them in a top loader, or um, yeah, well, top loader there, and just had them just sitting in my um, the cards over here. And I was like, well, I want to get them slabbed up because I do love SGC slabs. Don't get me wrong, and I will. I'll probably send in a lot of my personal collection um, stuff that I don't plan on selling. Just want something slabbed instead of it in a top loader. Um, that's the main point of SEC. If I'm trying to, you know, sell and resell and things of that nature, I'm definitely sending to PGA or PGA. I don't know. I keep, I've got the PGA Tour on my mind. I'm guessing PSA or BGS uh, is where I try to do my sale. Um, if I'm submitting something, I'll try to resell it. But it is what it is. Cards still look good. I love the way these Stadium Club Tatises look. I wish they would have all been tens. That would have been nice. I've got a gold label. Would have been a really cool experience. The uh, experience there, but. Is what it is. Uh, I'm just really disappointed on the 8.5 from Keith Lee. Uh, you know, is what it is. It happens, guys. But uh, again, uh, subscribe to us on on here on YouTube. Like this video uh, if you want to see more content like this, which there will be future content like, th like this in the future. Um, so definitely 
um, uh, you know, like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, leave a comment below what your favorite card of the submission was. Uh, what did what do you guys think of um, SGC slabs? If this is the first time you're seeing them, what do you guys think of those? Uh, leave a comment below. Um, share this video if you want. Share it to your friends on Facebook if you want. Uh, if you're into card collecting, which you probably are if you're watching this video. Um, that being said, guys, uh, again, too, I'm going to jump into this one here. I've actually got a Topps Holiday 2020 Mega Box I got exclusively from Walmart there. I'm going to be opening this up on the channel here in the next uh, next week or so here. So definitely subscribe if you're into baseball content and want to see one of those broke open. But until then, guys, this is Blue signing out, and we'll see you guys back in the next video.